Look at this. Bullets fired at a reduced speed from a 22 caliber gun, not being able to break a skin made from, listen carefully here, spider silk protein from the milk of genetically modified goats. I hope you're keeping up with all this. Joining me now for today is Big Eye via Skype, Randy Lewis, professor of biology at Utah State University, who's been pioneering methods of producing spider silk from, well, some very unexpected sources. And from the Netherlands, Dutch bio artist Shalila Asadi, who created this bulletproof experiment. Uh, thank you both so much for joining us. This is really interesting, uh, a little bizarre, but also really cool all at the same time. Uh, Randy, to you first. Tell me more about this spider silk protein and how the goats actually produce it. Well, we genetically engineered the goats so that they produce the spider silk protein in their milk. Uh, we then purify that protein from the milk and spin it into fibers. And why do you need goats to produce this? I mean, why not just use spiders? Well, there's two problems with spiders. The first is they're cannibalistic, and second of all, they're territorial. So as opposed to silkworms, where you can just put a whole bunch of them together uh, and they'll live in harmony, uh, spiders tend to, uh, to kill each other until they all have the space they need. So it makes it very difficult to, to farm spiders in that sense. And I assume that there's science in here, right? I mean, uh, Randy, your, your, initial, uh, your initial vision for this ha was something having to do with science. Sure. Uh, you know, what we wanted to do was... was uh, find a way to demonstrate just uh, how good the spider silk is. Um, it's much stronger than silkworm silk, and it's much more elastic. So there are a number of, of uses for it uh, beyond just the, the, uh, the artistic effort that was done here. Shalila, you are a, uh, what you call a bio-artist. What is that, first of all? Well, it's the boundary between uh, biology and arts, and uh, in this case, biotechnology. Uh, I love to work in this field uh, because it's, uh, it looks at nature and the beautiful materials nature offers us. And so how did you get involved in this product project? Well, I read in 2001 an article of uh, Dr. Randy Lewis about his transgenic goats, and uh, I got really inspired. And... Uh, well, I wrote him an email about uh, creating a bulletproof human skin, and uh, he liked the idea, and so we started working on the bulletproof human skin. And why the idea of this bulletproof skin, Shalila? Well, one of the uh, goals while producing this spider silk on a large scale I read was to uh, create a bulletproof vests, and I thought, why even bother with those bulletproof vests? Why not directly create a bulletproof human skin? Yeah, that is where the ball started rolling and uh, became a bulletproof human skin. And we have some pictures of you. Uh, we just saw you in a picture uh, with a gun there. So obviously you've tested this. Uh, tell us what that test was like and, and how it turned out. Well, we started with uh, making, weaving the spider silk into a bulletproof matrix. There we grow uh, human skin cells, uh, a dermis and an epidermis. And then we took it to the Dutch Forensic um, Center and we shot at it with a .22 long rifle caliber and uh, the bullets got wrapped in, uh, in the spider silk. So the skin there, uh, it didn't break, but if the skin were on a human, would this human have survived? No, the, the inside would be soups and the bone would, would, would break. It's, uh, yeah, you just keep the more uh, beautiful package. <laughs> so Randy, what do you think of Shalila's test? Well, I guess the thing that we, that, that we were excited about is really two things. First, um, that the materials that, that we created uh, were, were useful for growing skin. The, the, the cells uh, adhered to it. They behaved like they were supposed to. They grew like they were supposed to. Um, so that really is, is for us uh, an interesting and, and exciting for us because it really is something we hadn't, hadn't done uh, and had really not gotten to that point. Mm -hmm. So uh, she was able to, to move us forward in, in that area. I think the other thing is, is it clearly shows, uh, since they compared it to silkworm silk, um, that the silk we made actually uh, has some, some very impressive mechanical properties. So, Randy, you don't see humans having bulletproof skin one day? I, I, I think uh, both Shalila and I went into this with, with uh, the thought process this would be an, an interesting experiment, but uh, probably not uh, the future for mankind.